Well, hello there. Today is Sunday, and I am in Studio A, and Miss Fiona is in Bam Studio B over there. How you doing, Miss <laughs> uh, Miss Fiona? I can't complain. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to you as well. You know, it's such a beautiful day in Chicago. Um, the sun is shining. It's nice, cool spring day. We ain't got no snow. I mean, you know, like, <laughs> hey, in Chicago, this is a great day, you know, uh, to enjoy the birds and all the things that go along with a nice, beautiful spring day. Man, yeah, ain't absolutely. that wonderful? It sure is. It's, a, it's like 70. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great mm -hmm. day to be alive. You know, yes, it is. You know, that's my testimony, y'all. Still glad to be alive. You know, I had to work it in, see how I came around at it that way. <laughs> a great day to be alive. Still glad to be alive, you know. So, mm -hmm. uh, especially on a Sunday, I always give praises on a Sunday because that's what you're supposed to do. Be thankful for every day on this side of life. And I am so happy, happy, happy. You know, mm -hmm. you know, I'm surprised Miss Fiona had been on remote shootings for, you know, a couple of times. It was beautiful out on she was down on the lakefront and all that good stuff. You didn't you didn't you tricked us today, huh? Well, I had a rough morning. It was had a not rough as in bad, but just trying to get up as the last day of the weekend. So um, But I'm gonna get out there. More so in the spring for here in Chicago. I mean summer in Chicago though. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you must have had a rough night last night. You was turning up, as the kids would say. <laughs> I was lit. No, I don't know. <laughs> she said I was lit. <laughs> oh my God. You see, when Miss Fiona have a rough night, y'all, she 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 sleeps late, you know. <laughs> Me and Miss Fiona had a video shoot scheduled one day at like twelve o'clock. And it's like eleven fifty nine. She's like, huh? Oh, uh, uh, why you bother me? Yeah, I said, well, we canceled the shoot. Okay, good. Goodbye. <laughs> so I learned that day that Miss Fiona, boy, she gonna she gonna sleep when she get a chance to. What I sound like you say? <laughs> hey, I get it. You know, I understand. You know, I know you were glad it was canceled because you wasn't ready no way. <laughs> you know? Right, that girl say amen. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, no, it's a beautiful thing. You know, life is a wonderful thing and it's worth living. You know, it is. Uh, look, we got a great Black History moment coming up. So let me get my uh, my opening out of the way so Miss Fiona can do what she came to do, and uh, we can move on. Uh, first thing I want to do is give a shout out to all of the healthcare heroes that are on the front line, that are out there keeping our family and loved ones alive. We cannot thank you enough. Every time we go live, I am always thanking you because without you, some of my folks would not still be here. And I'm sure everyone feels that same sentiment. As a matter of fact, I am still wearing this shirt because we do not have an all clear. Now, I know they're trying to trick y'all, make y'all think that this corona's over with. It ain't, okay? Because when it is, and they say it's over, I'm going to do a wardrobe change, okay? And I ain't did a wardrobe change, so it ain't over yet. Uh, I am hoping that not as many people die and get sick, uh, and we can get this thing over with. But I am still a little leery. These folks are getting ready to go into a new phase where they're telling folks that they can go out in public and don't have to wear a mask. And I'm like, I don't think so. I'm not interested mm -hmm. in, you know, being that person that, oops, I got it because I, I made a move too soon. I'm not that person. So I'm going to keep on uh, being safe. I'm going to, you know, use caution and everything, use all the protocols that we used in the beginning because I want to be at the end of this thing and be able to say I made it successfully. So I hope you all are using the same wisdom and not taking any chances going out there trying to get involved in something prematurely, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. Also, by today being Sunday, 
I want to give a shout out to all of the pastors that are on the front line. There are a lot of people that are on the front line that have been encouraging us, keeping us motivated and uplifted during this pandemic. Uh, I like to shout them all out always because they're doing a job that is of value as well. Because, you know, without someone keeping us motivated and uplifted, you know, no telling where we would be at. You know, there would be a lot more depression, a lot more chaos in the world. Now, we got chaos. Don't think we don't. But it would be a lot more. Okay? So some folks are being, you know, very, very uplifted and motivated. And we appreciate the ones that do that. Uh, if you don't have anyone that is doing any uplifting and motivating in your life, let me recommend Dr. Lord Michael Hunt to you. Dr. Hunt has been my motivator and mentor for the last 30 years. I've been with him that long, and I tell you, he has been an inspiration and a very positive influence in many of the things that I have been through in my life. And I have also been there in his to be an inspiration and motivation in his. So uh, if you don't have anybody, check out Dr. Hunt. So you say, well, where do I find Dr. Hunt? You like that part, don't you? I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to send you over to ask-dr-ron.com. And when you get over there, scroll up to the top. You'll see all of my social media links. When you go to my social media links, hit the YouTube. It'll take you right over to my YouTube page, Ask Dr. Ron. And you'll see a playlist totally devoted to Dr. Hunt and some of his archived videos. His videos have not gotten old. They're still fresh and, and relevant today. Go over there, check out. I try to put up something fresh every week, every other week, so that you will not get bored. Like and share. Subscribe. Follow us on YouTube. We need your support so that when we post new things, you will see them. While you're on ask-dr-ron.com, scroll down. You'll see a lot of good information. You'll also see a place where we have our affiliates and we also have our vendors. We have plenty of people that support this show and we need you to support them. Please support our vendors. Our vendors uh, help make it possible for us to keep on the air and do what we do over here. And we need your support. Now, some of y'all probably think we don't need to be on there, but we like being here. So we need y'all to support our <laughs> vendors. Okay. Support them. Let them know that you appreciate um, the products, goods, and services that they offer. Check them out. If you click on the tabs, it'll take you right over to their websites and you'll be able to support them. Check them out. You may not need them right now. Like tax season is just about over with, but if you click on it, you might still be able to get some of that tax money that's, that, that you late applying for. But, you know, go check it out. There's a lot of vendors over there. Um, so as we have declared that we will do Black History 365 days out of the year, and Ms. Fiona has a very good Black History moment for us today, that I'm excited to hear about, you know. So, Miss Fiona, what you got for us? Happy Sunday. Today's Black History Moment is about Malcolm X, whose birthday is coming up this Wednesday. My resources are from history and the HartfordCurrent.com. So, born Malcolm Little in Omaha, Nebraska in 1925, Malcolm was the son of James Earl Little, a Baptist preacher who advocated the Black nationalist ideas of Marcus Garvey. However, the threats from the Ku Klux Klan forced his family to move to Lansing, Michigan. And in 1931, Malcolm's father was murdered by the white supremacist Black Legion, and Michigan authorities refused to prosecute them for those who were responsible. In 1937, Malcolm was taken from his family by, wel by a welfare caseworker. By the time he reached high school, he had dropped out of school and had moved to Boston. In 1946, at the age of 21, Malcolm was sent to prison on burglary conviction. 
It was during the time that he was in jail where the teaching of the, na the nation of Islam and black nationalism had a strong effect on Malcolm. And that is when he took the last name X to symbolize his stolen African identity. As a black leader, opposite of Martin Luther King, Malcolm X advocated self-defense and liberation of African Americans by any means necessary. In 1955, Malcolm X and a few others packed into a small apartment in Hartford Public Housing Projects, and that is Hartford, Connecticut. Soon after, the Hartford Nation of Islam group grew by, by 1956. Malcolm, Malcolm X had found a temple number 14 in the city's north end of Main Street. Malcolm Wolf's studies of black struggles against white racism in the United States with the fight against white colonism abhor abroad. Sorry, Malcolm warned us of racial bloodshed that was coming to America. He was assassinated in Harlem on February 21st, 1965, only three months before his 40th birthday. Most white America did not know what to make of Malcolm X during his rise and prominence, except often to fear him. During his short life, he challenged the racist political, economic, and cultural institutions of the United States. Like Nat Turner before him and the Black Panthers after his death, Malcolm defied all the stereotypes of how oppressed people behave in the quest for liberation. And that, my friends, is today's Black History Moment. Yeah, my, Malcolm X was, uh, and happy birthday to him wherever he's resting in peace at, we, we applaud him on his birthday. But Malcolm was a very powerful influence in, in history, period. Uh, there are many people that came after him that echoed the battle cry that he once started about being able to um, establish your own and, mm -hmm. and to be able to not look for handouts, you know, stop accepting crumbs off of your slave master's table and begin to start looking for things that will establish us people of color, you know, as the nation that we are. And mm -hmm. to this day, we still have struggles with that. People are always looking, not always, that's a bad word. There are a lot of people let's say it like that, that are still looking for handouts, looking for something that they feel that's owed to us that has not happened as of yet. And, um, you know, uh, it, it has been, um, final, finally, I'll say it like this, finally publicized that, that Malcolm X was targeted by the FBI and, and the full weight of the United States government that was uh, very instrumental in uh, trying to destroy him and his message. Just mm -hmm. like many, you know, leaders that we had through the 50s and 60s, you know, uh, being targeted by J. Edgar Hoover, yeah, I called his name, the, who was the leader of the FBI at the time. And um, they did not want us to succeed you know, as a race and be successful as a race. And even to this day, in 2021, there are a lot of the practices of the United States government still in force today. Yes, I said it. You know, mm -hmm. they still target people. They assassinate character. Uh, they plot, you know, they plan and they plot against people to keep us from organizing and achieving the levels of success we can as a people. That's deep, ain't it? You know, yes, here it we is. are in 2021, <laughs> we're still going through the same struggles and the same battles, you know, that went on. Uh, how many years ago was that? I didn't even do the math on that, you know, mm -hmm. lifetime that ago. Was <laughs> <laughs> that was just 1956. Yeah, okay. So that's like 60, 67 years ago. No, no, not that long. Oh, my God. 64, 64 years ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going to do the math. Yeah, yeah, there you go. 60. <laughs> 60. I keep saying 60, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good 60 years ago, 50-something at least. Mm -hmm. You know, so we ain't, you know, 
Um, 65. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, 65 mm -hmm. years ago. I'm telling you, mm -hmm. that's uh, that's a lot of years of struggle, you know? Yeah. So we applaud him and all that he has put his mark on this world, on, I mean, world, because he is a worldwide figure. Uh, and I tell you, you know, it was it was definitely, if you ever get a chance, I'm going to encourage all people that like to study history or understand history, go listen to some of his speeches, you know, his recordings, mm -hmm. some of his videotapes. They're out there on the Internet, you know, um, and you and you will find out how relevant it was then and relevant now. Because we're still in a struggle that some people don't even realize we're still in. Uh, we got a comment here. I think I should read it. Let's see. Uh, I was in high school, early 90s, and knew Fix was in due to history book, only having only three sentence paragraph about Malcolm X. Yes, Jed, yeah. you're right. They want to keep you from not understanding. So I applaud my co host, Miss Fiona for bringing something that we still need to keep alive, which is our black history and the relevance mm -hmm. of Malcolm X and all that he went through. So, Absolutely. you know, so y'all go do some homework, look him up, Google him, you know, do some homework, go listen to some of his speeches. The man was very, very eloquent. Is that the right word? Elegant, eloquent, eloquent. Uh, eloquent. Eloquent. Very well spoken. How's Smart. that? Smart. <laughs> Very well spoken. He wasn't no, he wasn't nobody that got in front of the camera that could not command your attention and have very good command of the human language to be able to tell you what he was trying to say. And mm -hmm. he didn't have any fear in his heart. So yeah, man, sorry. I Yep, Malcolm X <sighs> birthday. Yay. Inspiration. <laughs> Happy birthday. Yeah. Well, look. Um, this is not the show. This is only the promo to the show. So we do our mm -hmm. show each and every Tuesday right here on Facebook Live at 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. We want to invite you all out. Come on back. Bring a friend. Tell a friend. Tell them to meet you here. Beat you here so we can hang out and you get a chance to see the show. Uh, on this week, we've got a special special for you all. It's going to be me and Miss Fiona chopping it up, okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, see how that look on your face? I got gotcha. you. You know, uh, we were supposed to have an international guest on this. Oh, no, this week was supposed to be Sam, uh, Port Again Sam. But Sam had some emergencies come up with his family, and, uh, you know, uh, he will not be able to make it on the show on Tuesday. But uh, I promise you, you will not miss out on a golden moment of opportunity because Miss Fiona be going, boy. I tell you, boy, <laughs> if y'all don't know about Miss Fiona, now's a good time to come and find out about Miss Fiona. Show up on this Tuesday and okay. find out how deep Miss Fiona can be. Boy, she can be real deep sometimes. So, look, we're going to get out of here for now. Miss Fiona, say something good to the people. Let's see. It is a beautiful Sunday, so I hope everybody enjoys their Sunday. And I'm going to leave with a quote with, from Albert Einstein. Life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep it moving. See you on Tuesday. Is that what he said? Yeah. Okay. All right. Miss Albert Einstein <laughs> quote himself. All right. <laughs> Look, y'all, come and check us out on Tuesday. Uh, we need y'all donations. Please support. We're going to put this up right here. Um, this is all of our uh, pay donation facilities that you can make contributions to keep us going. We look forward to seeing you guys on next week. You all have a wonderful, wonderful week. See you on Tuesday.